Oh, Captain, my Captain, let's go! They're getting progressively higher leveled. Uh. Yay! Captain, use strength! Uh. Use strength faster! I have to press action every single time. I want to push it one square. Instead of just running into it. Oh, if I hold it down, that works. Okay. We Push. Push! Jeez Louise. More ice cream! Found it! It's got form so I can eat it! I don't... Young lady, have you grown somewhat? Eh? Have I? He <laughs> alright! To dragons, height is a sign of growing stronger. Have you been more attuned to the smell of lies and had more of an appetite lately? Yeah, so someday I can be as tall as you, Mr. Captain? If you reached my height, you'd surely be towering above your caretaker. Oh, I guess he couldn't carry me or give me piggyback rides. Perhaps you should stay a bit shorter than him, then. Mr. Captain, was your, um, mom taller than you? The prior captain? I was shorter at first. With time, my power grew until I overtook her in height. And your ability is to not die, right? Yes, an ability that answers to her wish. The woman who birthed me, the former captain, said she wished that I'd always be with her, because her job involved many dangerous criminals. Naturally, she lost many allies. She said she could feel respect and trust in others, but no more. A lonely barrier surrounded her. But Miss Former Captain's gone now, isn't she? Yes, even though the wisher is gone from this world, I've not lost my ability. But before she was laid to rest, she told me to take the reins of this force. Perhaps my abilities go on because these words served as a new wish from my master. Dragon's abilities come from people's wishes. So, like, Mr. Brett's and stuff, too. I've never exactly asked him for the details, so this is mere conjecture. Brett was found with a criminal organization that focused on slave trading. His wisher may have sought an ability to conduct kidnappings without being caught, perhaps. So even wishes like that can make dragons. Yes, it doesn't have much to do with the contents, surely. Dragons must simply be born in response to a powerful wish. What did Sid wish for to make me? The lie stopped! We go to the fourth floor, let's catch up to Sid! Ah! Well... But the lock's gone, it seems like the mug crumbled down all at once! I see. But as long as we can send this lady toward the stairs. Oh, and the mud around this fell, so there will be nothing blocking her away from there. I'll carry you to the other side with my ability. What about you guys? You need not worry about us. You're the only one who can save him, aren't you? Okay, got it. Go ahead, Mr. Brett. Right, stand still right there. I gotta get going. Ew. <laughs> Ew. You're in my way! Uh, I did not grind at all. Die! Die! Come on. Wait for me, I'm coming right now! What are you planning, Captain Neil? They'll only regenerate if you attack. There's simply no end to them! Well, let's leave them no time to regenerate. Fighting is in your unit, Iris, so don't push yourself too hard. I can't myself just fine! Hmm. Well, we can at least keep them at bay, I'm sure. <sighs> Damn it. Uh. A 
My, so you still haven't been fully overtaken. How long do you plan to struggle? I see, too hard to even speak. And even she's bound to betray you, isn't she? Ah, how pitiable. I see it's still there. Perhaps it's better for you over there. Or maybe it's there's a warning to yourself. Well done, keeping hidden with gloves and other such cheap tricks. This is the end. Huh? Hey, what'd you just say? I'm joining that gang. Hold on! The Odinger parents, didn't they die because of the wars that gang got into? Yeah, that's why we want to get revenge someday. Oh, so are you going to threaten them? Well, then we should. What's this? Money. With this, you three can go live in the town nearby. I think he was asking what you're planning to do. Did you get so much... How'd you get so much money? I borrowed it from the gang. You can get this kind of money easily with them. By the time the three of us go to another town, we can't just... Yeah, we're family, right? We're all lean hearts here. Theo, brother, do you think money is more important than we are? Yeah, maybe I do. Get grip, you idiots. You're not going to make any money in a place like this. Enough being weighed down. Just take the money and get out of my sight. Why? Wait, hey! Leonhardt. We still carry that name now. After that, we were lucky enough to be taken to a care facility in this town. Once we had grown up, we began to get to work. Even if our work was a little more than an imitation of that storybook. The staff that makes ultrasonic waves is really something. Eno's made it, you see. And it seems you've been rather busy yourself, Theo. It's alright. Now it'll all be over. I won't go so far as to destroy the world. But I can sink this whole area, at least. It's all for the best. You hated everything about that town, didn't you? I even grant you revenge. As well as ours. So how will it all end? I can't wait. What should I do, Effie? I don't really want to go in there. Is this my punishment for it all? I can smell Sid's lies. Get out of my way. Stop spawning in front of me. Stop it. Looks like there's a spooky ghost in here. What's this? Ooh, what's over here? Nothing. How about over here? Nope, okay. Onward! Huh? S Sid? No. This is. This just smells like lies. Yeah, Laffy. What are you up to? Come on, let's destroy this whole disgusting world with lies. Welcome. Glad you can make it. Although, you're too late. He's different from before. Indeed, when lies overtake a person, they lose themselves. Isn't that right? My brother here piled on lies such that they became part of who he was. Even a young one like you, like yourself, can understand, surely. Weren't you always with him? I have to get these off. I have to eat them. And how might you do that? You're already at your limits. I don't know if I can eat them if he's this far gone, but... <sighs> I, I can't. 
is too strong. What's the matter? You're awfully chair today, aren't you? Mess around too much, I'm skipping over your snack today. That's him. Same as ever, the one I know. What a pitiful end. Fitting for my traitor's brother, I suppose. It's all over now. All of it. So long, Brother Theo. It's okay. It might take a while, but I'll get you back to normal. Okay, Theo? What was a dazzling, shining town is now covered in dark mud. It's still as murky as ever, overflowing all over the place. Maybe it's more maybe it's more than I can ever eat, but even then, someday I'll get stronger so I can eat all of it. So until then... What? Bad end. Where was I given an option to do anything? What? What? Okay, so, um, that's it for this episode, I guess. Good thing I'm a compulsive saver. I'm going to figure out how to get the actual... Because I believe there's a neutral and good ending for this one. So I'm going to figure out how to do that. And that'll be next episode. But until then, stay humble.